Well, hello everybody and welcome back to FTL. It was so close in the last one. I thought it was going to be the run. I haven't won in so long. I thought it was going to be the one run, like the one ring, but I guess maybe it did possess me a little bit. Regardless, I thought that was it. B Kestrel. Four lasers. Such a good squad. Didn't work. So, what do you do? We haven't won. We're going back. We're going back to the Osprey, the Federation Cruiser A. Why? Because I've actually never won with the A. One with the B. One with the C. Never won with the A. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna win. That's right. I'm gonna win. <sighs> so how do you win? First of all, you attack the Slaver Scum. Now, how do you win with the Federation Cruiser A? It has a... Oh, I actually tabbed off the game. Right. It has one of the best weapons in the game, a Burst Laser Mark II. You add anything onto a Burst Laser Mark II, and you've got a fantastic ship. It also starts with a um, artillery beam, which I'm sure you've seen before, but is a beam weapon that cuts through every single layer of shield. There's nothing you can do to avoid it. It only does one damage per room, but if you witness... I'll do it. It cards a decent amount of a room up, you know? Stick with doors for now. What else has the Osprey got going for it? Well, it's got a very diverse crew. So early on, oh, I leave them alone. Oh yeah, I'm not doing giant alien spiders, you crazy? It's got a very diverse crew. Each member, up our shields are down. I try to shield their ship with ours. You succeed in preventing them from being entirely destroyed, but your ship took a number of hits. We only took one hull damage, so that's okay. 20 scrap and 4 fuel. Now that's good because it's the first scrap we've found in this playthrough. Uh, I downloaded the ship's data. Oh, it worked. Okay, you're able to pull all the ship's data about the sector. When did you set on fire? While we put this fire out, what does this Osprey have going for it? A very diverse crew. Uh, leadership, right. We are able with... I think humans don't really do much interesting. We're kind of the jack of all trades. The Mantis, the Rock, the NG. All will have interesting blue options in certain quests. The Rock can put out fires on the station. The Rock and the Mantis can calm down patients who are rioting. The Mantis can do some, some interesting stuff in a Mantis control sector. Basically, we can have some interesting options that usually a blue option gives you more scrap than, or more rewards, I should say. It might give you more scrap, more fuel, more rockets, more, it might give you a free weapon or um, component. But basically, it does more to have a blue option show up and then choose that. You wretched coward. I hate any ship with missiles. Uh, so yeah, that's what I was saying. Many options for things that we can do with a blue crew member choice. So hopefully we can actually get more rewards than we otherwise normally would. Good. Let's mess him up. No, no, no. You did enough damage to me that I'm going to burn your ship to the ground. Okay? Figuratively, I'm going to destroy it. Good. 16 scrap and one fuel. It's not much, but every little helps. Um, 
So yeah, the Osprey really is in a pretty good position early on. Lots of good and interesting crew members. Marfan, you should go back to the doors. Good weapon. Now all we need really is to find a store with another suitable weapon. It could be a flak. It could be, you know what? I could definitely go for a beam. Ooh. Now that one hurt, didn't it? All right. Now keep keep firing there. Power you down, power you up. Other than that, the Osprey's starting, as you could call them, stats, the power distribution, it's pretty average. Two, two, one, 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 two. One extra power that normally you'd maybe have in a weapon system or in the engines or something like that, instead goes to the artillery beam to do stuff like that. Takes like 50 seconds to charge, but at the 50 second mark, you've basically got them dead. Pretty useful. Um, so yeah, another good weapon, a beam would be nice. Upgrades to the artillery beam, also useful. In particular, in particular, a way to stop missiles would be tremendously useful. Especially when, like this guy, all you have is a missile launcher. Which, by the way, makes you an asshole. But when they've got missiles, we can't stop them. All we can do is dodge them. Which is a pain. If we could get... I mean, there are several options. You can either get a weapon pre-igniter to basically have your weapons powered on from the moment the fight starts. Please take out their... Yes. From the moment the fight starts so that you can lay in a killing blow against their weapons before they even fire. That's one option. The other option, cloaking. They both cost about the same. Lovely. Cloaking costs about 150 scrap. Weapon pre-igniter, while very, very rare, costs about 125, maybe, maybe 150. It's very rare and very expensive. The other thing is you get some, uh, some drones, a, a defense drone in particular. God damn it, with the missiles. And a lot of evasion. We have 20%. Okay, I'll be honest. Thank God that we we're actually able to hit that weapon system because one of our shots clipped the drone. Alright. The other thing that would be nice, because our shield guy isn't getting any skills because the shield can't block anything because it's for missiles, you know? could just have some beam weapons come in and blink 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 on the shields. What a state would be in, eh? Oh well, you're dead. Good. A little bit of scrap. Okay. Check the nebula. I'm gonna attack the automated ship to get to the station. Another miss. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm cool, you're cool, we're all cool. A few missiles here and there. That's what scrap's for, baby. We'll just repair the ship a little bit. You son of a... Okay. We're good. Their weapons are down. Our shields are back up. Our weapon guys slowly but surely leveling up. Get some faster charge on the weapons. I mean, do you know what would be crazy? A second burst laser. Six shots for two power. Sorry, four power. That's really good. Even the Mark II burst laser is like... Five shots for four power. Is it four power? No. Oh good, the station had nothing of usefulness on it. Usefulness. Okay, you arrive along with beacon. Jump in the aftermath of what seems to have been a brutal exchange. Let's investigate the battlefield. Ah, there's nothing. That's a shame. Let's go to a civilian sector. Civilian sector means shops, commerce, capitalism. 
someone is going to want to sell me something they would rather sell someone else for more money, but I'm the only one around. I'm going to buy fuel, even though it's no cheaper than a standard fuel depot. <laughs> I'm still going to do it because I'm a sucker for commerce. Small rebel ship with some goods. I demand they hand them over. You've got one bi one beam. You're just a pink. Uh, yep, yeah, plink. Okay, well. Hope you don't mind, but I'm just going to mess you up and I'm going to let our shield guy learn some skills. Blink. Boop. It takes quite a lot, actually. Do, 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 do. Oh, not me. I want to fire the engine. Blink, blink, blink. Bunk, bunk, bunk. <laughs> okay. Let's keep firing at the engine because they are trying to escape. And I would... Oh, good. Yeah, good. Miss. Just miss. Okay. The artillery beam did some work there. And you're dead. Okay, hand, hand over the money. Give me the money. For the bits and pieces you decide this ship was gathering information, nothing seems useful. Uh, 19 scrap seems a little useful, my friend. I wouldn't turn my nose up at 19 scrap. Give them two fuel. A fellow Federation vessel. 31 scrap. Oh, baby. All right, there's a store. Check the nebulae. Then into the store. I attack the ship. I attack the ship. Hit their weapons. A boarding drone. Oh, it's just an eye on boarding drone. Get out of there, though, because he's going to friggin' ionize my gubbins. There's going to be a breach. Get you in here, actually. He comes in here, kick the crap out of him. You've stunned my dude. It's disrespectful. Okay, he's back in the engine room. Good. Is... Is my ship on fire or is their ship on fire? I don't know, so I'm just going to vent out the only area that's been hit. I no longer hear a fire. Ship explodes, leaving behind 24 scrap. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, you could just hop into the piloting room. We're just going to jump. We're going to jump to the store. While we're at the store, before we buy anything, Let's power up the med bay to get some people healed. But first things first, let's get some repairs going in here. Heal you up. Okay, get you out. There's not a lot of four, four stage rooms in this ship. Sorry, four size rooms that you can send a bunch of people to. Like sending them here one guy decided to stay in the room with no oxygen which seems like a bad idea i don't know if you know but that's fine Wai Xing, you do what you need to do homie okay now we check the store drone control crew teleporter hacking comes with a defense drone it could combat too mm -hmm. could do could do Let's think. Would we rather that or cloaking? Cloaking would evade most of the missiles, assuming we have enough engine power. Drones would evade most of the missiles, assuming they fired. Drones cost a resource. Cloaking just costs power, but the drones will also cost power. I think we probably hang on. Four drones. Sorry, four cloaking. Crew teleporter? Don't want a crew teleporter? How much would... I mean... Let's 
do that. Got some extra power. Do you know what? I'm okay. With where we are now. I'll save my money. We either get a weapon pre-igniter or... Cloaking. I don't think drone control is where it's at. There you go. Okay. Extremely convenient that we bought a second bar of shields just in time for them to drain them. But we should be okay because this isn't going to be able to get through our weapons. He also just completely missed. <laughs> Lovely. The crack, crack down their weapons. Yes. Then you hit the piloting so they can't fly anymore. Wait, is there a bomb back online? Is that deployed? No, it's not charging at all. Yeah, now he's... Ah, oh, I lied. Turns out the bomb was running the whole time. Let's see what the artillery beam does, shall we? Just mess them up. There we go. That's good. That's that's real good. Oh, I was going to send them over there, but there's not really any point to doing that anymore. Oh, but there's a point to going and repairing that. So their evasion should be low enough that I can just hit their weapons. Yow, yow, yow. Up, up, up. There we go. And he was going to fire another one, wasn't he? 22 scrap. That's the thing about the... Uh, the little bomb deployers. They're so small. I can never tell if they are deployed or not. Tiny asteroid belt. Offer assistance. I'll shield their ship with mine. It works. We take only one damage and we gain a suitable amount of loot for it. So I have to go here to get there. Or there. Let's go through the nebula. No! Not a plasma storm! When two heavily damaged ships floating nearby, the remains of battle, you begin to harvest some useful debris when you hear the sounds of someone beaming aboard, followed by the shouts of a boarding party. In here. Okay. Get you two up this way. I'll tell you what, yeah, here's what you do. Get you over here. Get you in here. Power up the med bay. Then you vent this whole area to space, so they have to come into the med bay and fight our guys. Our ship appears to be on fire. How long has that happened? Good. Power you down, power you up. Oh, are you going to take over for your dead buddy? Oh, good idea. Appreciate you. Okay. They're all dead. We just, uh... Oxygen appears to have returned. It says heal you two up. The nice thing about the Osprey as well that I hadn't considered until this point is the med bay being a size 4 unit in the middle of the ship is an excellent choke point. They spawn up here, you vent the hole after the ship, send your three best fighters into the med bay, and then they have to make their way in. And they're like, oh no, what else do I do? And then, in fact, you can even then just vent the whole front of the ship and have your other people standing in here. Three in here, four in here, that's the whole seven squad. Where are you normally? Oh, you are normally here. But our shields are offline. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Another one? Good lord. Jump in the middle of a plasma storm. I'm going to manually search the wreckage for survivors and equipment. Ooh, we take four hull damage, but we still get a bunch of gubbins. And there's a vent somewhere aboard. Which I think is okay. Oh my... You are the worst. Just so you know. Go ahead, fire a missile. Do it, coward. 
Good. Weapons are offline. I'm just going to keep hitting your weapons until you're dead. We have oxygen and we have engines. In fact, I'm going to power up the artillery beam just in case you get any bright ideas of trying to live. 50 seconds, you're a dead man. Bup, bup, bup. Good. Good. Keep the weapons down. Keep the people on board sad and demoralized. It's called a PSYOP. It's basically propaganda. Except, it comes in the form of bullets. And kills people. It's hard to explain, but it works. Trust me, it works. Bub, 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 bob, bob. Do you know what? I will accept this surrender. Because 21 scrap is not bad. And a system repair drone is a very sellable commodity. Don't be a plasma storm. God, finally. I attempt to follow the ship and I find Liam, another homie. We have three NG, which means our ship should always be repaired. <laughs> Lovely. Scans reveal nothing. Pop to the exit. We can maybe even take a cheeky gander over at another nebula. Ooh. Friendly programmer gives us a Mark 1 combat drone. Oh, hold on. I now see the issue. Let's repair this. Because I would hate for something to damage the artillery beam when we most critically need it. Only for us to have to repair the breach before we can repair the artillery beam. So I think we pop down to the nebula, see what's going on. It's a mantis ship. It's a mantis ship with no, uh, no teleporter. It's interesting. Blink, 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 blonk, blonk, blonk. Damn, they missed their shots. That's actually really good for us. If we can hit another cheeky burst on the weapons. Good. Okay. Next, O2. Trust me on this. Now they're like, oh my god, somebody has to repair the O2 or we're all going to die. Plink, plink, plink on the weapons again. Beautiful. 27 scrap. I like that a lot. Back to the exit, and then we're going to jump into the next sector. Rock or NG? Rocks are scary. NG's... Less so. I mean, let's go to the NG homeworlds because we have so many NG's, we might be able to get some blue events. Plus a store, which is what I was looking for. Give me a, a weapon pre-igniter. Repair out, oh, no, 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 none of that, none of that, none of that. Drone control. I mean, yeah, the, the drone, I'm thinking more and more about the drone control. We have two drones. Let's buy a repair arm. Buy them out of fuel. And then... Do this. It's a pretty stacked ship, if I do say so myself. So we spent all of our money, and we are still looking for another weapon. Oh, a plasma thingy, my bobby. Oh, my weapon! You're just as disrespectful as what you are. Okay. Now, in theory, don't ionize my shields. Oh, a coward. You're such a coward, I hate you. Get in here, help repair. The shields have been ionized again. Owie, that hurt. Nah, you're not surrendering. Idiot, you're gonna get your ass kicked. I made my decision. You 
Oh, we're dead. God damn it. Their gla the, the ionization of our shields meant their glaive beam just carved right through us, dude. Right through us. Right, we're going to be running that back as the Osprey again. Not in this one, but in the next one. But it was such a... Well, basically we changed nothing on the ship, right? We just upgraded two bars of shields, four bars of engines, two bars of uh, artillery beam. Maybe I just max the artillery beam immediately. How much, how much does that cost? 160 to max the beam itself. I don't know what the engine or the reactor setup is looking like, but let's say it's like 20. We need three more power. Let's say it's like 20, 25, 25. Okay. So 70 power or 70, 70 scrap for the reactor. 160 scrap for the artillery beam. That is right. Yeah, 160. All right. 230 scrap to max out the artillery beam is quite a lot, especially early on. In that case, think of it this way, me. 50 scrap, 55 at the most, to upgrade the artillery beam to level 2. Drops 10 seconds off the time. That's pretty good. Then... It's only... What did I just say? 50 scrap? Then it's only like a hundred and sixty scrap in total to max the rest of it which is a lot more doable when you've got the artillery beam killing people anyway just a thought experiment for now thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed if you did hit the like button that's a great deal really appreciate it we'll be back for another osprey run uh immediately because i'll be damned if i'm gonna let that end so badly even though i thought we were doing well the bloody pulsar uh yeah like i said uh if you enjoy subscribe to the channel for content Check the links in the description, ring the notification button, and I will see all of you in the next one. See ya! I'd love to do this friggin' diplomatic immunity thing as well. See ya!